Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Kotetzer, and welcome back to another live Team Taj reaction. And today, we are going to be live reacting to a Team Taj called Undeniable by Trap Stunting. This is their very first Team Taj, and something I want to clear up before I get any farther in this video is the link I'm going to link you guys in the description is actually just a YouTube link to a Daily Motion video because Trap Stunting decided not to upload their full Team Taj on YouTube because of like copyright reasons. And I'm going to turn the audio of the Team Taj like way down when I react to it in this video so I don't get a copyright claim. So like when you go like check that out just like be aware of that and I guess this is the only copy of the video on YouTube because like Trap Stunting has it on Daily Motion. And I know like a lot of people including me don't really like using Daily Motion because I just don't like the site. So that's a little bit off topic just want to make sure you guys all got that. So yeah without any wasting any more time let's put on my headphones and let's watch this video. I have pretty high expectations, it's like 7 minutes long, so yeah, here we go. Huh. Trap stunting. Presenting. Their first. Team Taj. Oh, I kind of like that text effect, how it's like so reflective. Called... Undeniable. Okay. So, here's the first stunt. Oh, I guess that's not real and isn't it? Huh, okay. Weird little bump you got there. Cow. Let's see what he does here. Oh, nice job. Pretty clean landing, too. So Thief, this guy comments on my videos a lot. Oh, nice little slide. Osama. Oh, are you just, is he going to land on the small tower? Okay, yeah, he is. Good job. The contrast is so high, I could barely see that. Wolfman. A little ruffian precision. Nice. This is going to be a wall ride, isn't it? No, sort of a, eh, I don't know what to call that, but that was nice. Haven't seen anyone do that. Uh, depends on what he does here. It might be real land. Okay, that's definitely not real land. That's pretty crazy. I had no idea that object was even there. Is this a potato cam? Okay, I guess I can excuse it because that was pretty creative, but still... I'm interested in seeing what he's going to use that insurgent for. Okay. To do that, okay. I guess maybe new Panto launch technique? Who knows? Oh. It's good that you did the whole thing because... <coughs> Hold on a second. Because even though Momat did that, it's questionable whether that's a reland or not. Nice idea. Another use of this technique with a small landing. I question using that same technique twice, but still, it's it's okay, I guess. What's he doing here? Okay. Oh, it's a multi-part stun, right? Hey, when I did this for a stun challenge, I can never land easily on these small pillars. Maybe I'm the only one who can't do that. Oh, nice method of, like, getting inside of there. Now, is he going to go inside the barracks? Yeah, he's going to go inside. Okay. I think that might be the first time I've seen someone do that technique with the Hydra. Usually it's done with, like, another kind of jet. Double bump? Oh, is this technical, isn't it? Okay, damn, that's good. That's my favorite stun so far. Just the fact that you use like three techniques in one, that's definitely commendable. Unfortunately, I think I might have seen this one before. Doesn't mean it's terrible. 
Whoa. <coughs> Whoa. Dang, dude. Okay, so that's the same technique uh, Sem did, but it's okay because it was in a different location. Oh, whoa. A thread with a boat. That's definitely a first. For sure. Part two. Okay, there's two minutes left in the video. I have high expectations. Okay, so you're saving, I guess, the luckiest bump for all. But still, like, three of the same technique in one video. I can't really approve of that, but at least it was okay. Okay, that's definitely original skydive location. A panto drop. Okay. Haven't seen this technique used in like a year because of the fact that's in patched on last gen, but I guess you can still do it in multiplayer, right? Yeah. Why has no one thought of doing that stun? Seriously. Oh, and yeah, and I've used this spot before. Just got really lucky landing, didn't you? Oh. Okay. Nice stun, but the only thing is that didn't really look that hard. I get a feeling this is the finisher. Yeah, it's the finisher. We'll I'll just have to see what they do here. I get a feeling, yes, it's this spot, isn't it? Yes, it's this spot. Fun fact, I spent hours on end after school trying this spot last year. And I almost landed on this building. This is almost like, this would have been my original spot. I was doing it with Yakuchu though, so blame, okay, you win. I should, why didn't I try off the baddie? Okay, anyways. A 30 second long credit scene. Undeniable. Okay. Okay, the editor was Black Dead Pig. Special thanks to... Oh, special. Maybe that's in, like, German or something. I don't know. I just get that vibe. Okay, the video's done. Okay, so overall, I kind of have mixed opinions about this video. The music was nice, but at the same time, I, I'm a tad bit paranoid because it's copyright and I have to try to avoid that the best I can. And... For the editor, I liked it, but wait, for, there was two parts, but there was one editor. That confuses me a little bit, because usually when parts, it's divided by editors, but maybe Black Dead Pig did both. Okay, I'm going to go to the assumption that Black Dead Pig did like both parts of the edit, and I like how like the constant color correction was used for like both parts. It was like sort of a reddish. It was a bit stronger in the second part, but I overall like the consistency of that. And there was also a decent amount of effects added. It didn't really feel out of place at all. You could have, like, done the text a tiny bit differently. But overall, I kind of liked the edit a lot. I thought it was pretty, like, unique, original. And, like, the stunts were, like, I guess cut good, too. I think I didn't feel like there was any awkward pauses or anything. So, I overall, for the songs and the edit, I really liked that. I did feel like the stunts were quite good, too. I only have about two complaints. Which, the first one being that TBGTA guy... Your stunts were really good, but I do recommend, like, saving up for, like, a higher resolution recording device because, like, that's what people like to see, like, especially here in 2016, but it's it's not 2013 anymore and, like, no one had a capture card. Like, you should probably, like, just, like, save up for one. Like, if you can't afford one, I'm not trying to roast you, but, I mean, like, people appreciate, like, watching stunts in higher resolution. It just, be, it just makes the stunt look better. And the second thing is... I, I forget who did this. I'm going to go back in the video just so I can see who did this. This was more to in the first part of the edit. Like, those three stunts that were done by Osama and TB. I like the, uh, the sort of the panto and the insurgent. The whole, like, bumping it idea. I like that idea. But I do kind of disapprove of using the same idea three times in one video. Because in a, in a solo, that wouldn't be a problem. But in a team Taj, I feel like that's just, like, too much of the same thing in one video. So... Maybe I maybe I could have recommended you choosing like no more than like two of like the same kind of stunt in one video. 
I don't know, it's not really that big of a problem, it's just something I kind of noticed as being a slightly bit repetitive. But besides that fact, the stunts were quite good, especially the precisions by Cal, and obviously the finisher, which was done by Blame, I'm pretty sure, yeah, it was done by Blame. And yeah, that was my spot, but I stopped working on that spot like months ago, so it's your spot, man. Just like, I can't believe no one's really landed that earlier, because I remember when I got that bump, like the tree bumped you in like such a weird way. It just was like a matter of time before you got like a good bump and you could like hit the stun. So really like good. I commend you for hitting that. It's good I, about time someone hit that again. And there's a few other compliments I want to give out before I'm done. Oh, I did like the return of like the Z-type stun by Osama because people have kind of stopped doing those because of like next gen PC not having really the car physics. But the fact that you like did it in multiplayer like on PC or like PS4, I'm not entirely sure. It's kind of reviving like that kind of stunt that we haven't really seen for a while. So I do like seeing that like sort of like something from the past and like a newer team dodge. So I can kind of just remember that. And I don't really have anything else to say. So I've decided to give this team Taj an 8.25 out of 10. And what you can do to improve next time, I guess, is like the high resolution clips. And also like not really having repetitive clips in the video. And, like, also, make sure to use copyright-free music to, like, protect yourself and everyone else, like, who's involved in this video, because content ID claims are no fun, but even if you get a content ID claim, I don't see why you upload to daily motion. but whatever, it's none of my concern, but, so, I guess that's where I'm gonna end this video, so, if you guys enjoy this video at any point in time, make sure to drop a like on the video, and also, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel for daily GTA 5 content and more. And until next time, this is Kotetsu here. Have a wonderful day or night wherever you live. Please be safe. Kotetsu out.